Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codexual and today we're going to be showing you how to set up the Tor project on the router here. Now every device that is connected towards the router will be hopping through the Tor network nodes. So anything that browses on a HTTP or HTTPS protocol will be hopping through the Tor node and that's actually pretty freaking awesome. Uh, do keep in mind if you do enable these services, um, again, it's not going to be super Super lightning fast speed because you're hopping through different nodes, which can cause a whole lot of um, slowage, right? Slowage, you want the word? We're going to go with it. Um, when I originally recorded this video, uh, for some reason, the audio didn't go through. So this is like a post uh, production added on audio. I'm just going to get straight to the point here. Um, over there, you can see my IP, the 78, 78, 56, uh, 120. And as soon as we hit the enable tour, and then there will also be redirect TCP port, make sure that's selected on uh, HTTP and HTTPS. Then you're going to hit save and it will reboot the router here for you. And if it hasn't, then after you hit save, um, just manually reboot the router. Now, as this reboots, if you guys can hit me with a favor here, you see that big red button that subscribe, hit that with post notifications turned on. Um, every time that I upload a video, you'll be notified, hit the like button. If you ever need any help, we do have a Discord. I also do live stream on mixture.com slash codexual. So that's what I'm here for if you ever need any assistance. Um, yeah. All right, now that the router has been rebooted, what we're gonna do is go to ipchicken.com. And as you can see, it is the 185.220.102.4, which is completely changed from the IP that we originally had. So now that it's enabled, every device that you're on will be having that IP address. Um, well, not this one specifically, but it will be changing periodically um, without every interval of, I, I, I don't know, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, who knows? But um, it is now hopping through the different Tor nodes, which is completely awesome. Again, there's slowage. If you ever need to disable it, just uncheck the enable Tor, save and reboot again. And that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave here and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters. If you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are, you can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like, the, the, it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then, you know, you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features, and look at all these great features. Uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.